Do you ever wonder how professional photographers create those captivating lighting setups that take their photos to the next level? Well, today you're in luck because I'm going to let you in some insider secrets to take your lighting to the next level. Before we dive in, let me introduce myself. I'm Ivona Podlasinska, a child and family photographer uh, here in the picturesque uh, landscapes of Poland. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my website, ivonapodlasinska.com. Whenever I share those backstage videos, I get a lot of questions like, what is that light that you're having there? What is that light? Well, today is the day that I'm going to reveal the, my two favorite lamps and I'm going to tell you exactly how to use them, where to place them in your photos and how to create those beautiful colors and beautiful setups. Well, you see, I'm a big fan of mixing natural and artificial light in my photos. And because of that, I am a huge believer in continuous light. I know that comes as a surprise because a lot of people assume that it's all flash, but it's not. I'm actually going to tell you why I prefer continuous light over flash. Well, first of all, before I get to that, I'm a person of simplicity. And when I teach my workshops, I tell my students that, well, when you are just starting, don't even bother buying all those lights at the beginning. You can just use whatever you have at your hand. And that can be a, just a regular lamp that stands in your home. All you need for that is just a light bulb. You put it there, but you need a specific light bulb for a specific color. That's not a problem. You can get to store. There are descriptions of the light bulbs. You will get a specific number of Kelvin on those lamps. And remember, it is very important that the lower the Kelvin, the warmer the light. Okay. The higher the number of Kelvin, the cooler the light. But using those lamps can be on one hand great because you can actually put them in your photo and they will look great. Two, you don't need to buy any specific, any fancy gear and you will still get a lovely photo. But there are also those not great things about those lamps. Well, first of all, the reason why they are not great is one, you can't really control the temperature once you get your light bulb in a specific color, that's what you're getting. Second thing is that you can't really control the power. You can turn it on and turn it off. That's it. Third thing that you are always messing with those cords. And four, you can't really take them outside. You have to use them at home because you still need that electricity. So I used to start with taking photos of my own children and that was the best thing I could do because I did not want to invest in any lights. But as I started doing some more photography, started doing workshops, started doing some clients work, that's when I needed to expand my gear and invest in some of those lights. And the reason that I actually decided to go towards continuous light rather than flash were that. First of all, I wanted to be able to combine that with natural light. And this is so much easier with continuous light as you can already see what's going on. You just turn the light on and then you already see that. You don't have to take any test, sh test shots and especially when you're working with children that are not the most patient models in the world, you don't really have the luxury of time. You need to be fast and there's no time for test shots. You just need to turn on the lights and get your job done in a second. The second reason why I like continuous light is that especially that I run a lot of workshops. 
and I shoot with a lot of photographers at the same time. And then when we're using continuous light, everybody can shoot at the same time. We don't need to sync our triggers. We don't even need triggers. All you need to turn off the lights and I can use multiple colors, multiple sources in the different places. And my students already see where I'm going with that, all that lighting. Also with younger children, it turned out that flash was a little bit too much for them to handle. They were getting anxious with the flash, constantly firing off in their faces and they did not like the atmosphere. Well, so with continuous light, I think they get just get used to the fact that there is a light standing next to them and don't even pay attention after some time. So I found continuous light less distracting for children. And one of my favorite things about continuous light is the possibility of changing the color as I go. I don't need any gel. I don't need any other equipment because most of the lights that I use have the ability of controlling the temperature or the color with the RGB mode. So I'm going to show you two lights that I recently received from the company Zhuyong that are just perfect for my photography. So the first one that I have here is the one that I love so much. This is the Fireway M20, which is a small lamp that you can take anywhere with you. You can control the temperature as so it starts it's down from 2500, which is a very good thing because I, when I personally buy any of those lights, one of the things that I pay attention to is the lowest setting because I want to have the ability to create that very, very warm light to create one of those looks on my photos. Can you see how on those photos you have the mixture of a very warm and a very cool tone? This is because I actually use those lights in the lowest setting. With the control of white balance, I can make the natural light look a little more on the blue side. So when I'm taking a look at the specifications of any of those lights, for me, very important thing is the lowest setting. And this one has a 2500 Kelvin, which makes the, the light very orange. Uh, therefore, it's perfect for my type of photography. The second thing is the, the strength of that. The stronger the light will be, the more possibilities for me to use it. It means that if it's a strong light like this one, I can take it outside and still use it there. If it's too weak, it's not able to overpower the natural light. Therefore, I can't really use it anywhere outside. So this one is perfect for both indoors and outdoors. And what I love the most about this one is that you get those magnet attachments. First one is like a, a little bit of like a plastic, like a plexiglass that you put on it and it makes the light so much softer. The second one is like a grid and it makes the light go in a specific direction. So it's great for my photography because whenever I want to highlight those hair on a photo and I don't want to actually highlight everything else around the subject, that grid just limits the light to a specific point. And even better, and it has those curtains on the sides. This is another attachment that I also love. And it also makes the ray of light going into a specific direction, which allows you to get the full control of where the light is going. So the M20 light is great for highlighting the hair even creating something like that, that is behind me. So kind of like colors of light on the background, which I also did on my photos. Whenever I have a wall that it lacks color, I can pop my M20 lamp, set it to a color and then highlight the background with whatever color I want. The first second one that I just got from Zhuying is the one that has not been released yet. And this is the premiere of this light. And I found it perfect because first of all, it's super strong, it's 100 watts. So that gives me ability to take it outside with me when I want to go shooting outdoors. 
and second it has the ability of controlling the temperature from 2700 up to 6500 kelvin degrees so from that very very warm tone to that very cool tone and also what it does you can attach a soft box on it which makes it a game changer when it comes to continuous light down in the description of this video you will find the links to get one of those lights and if you have not get it together yet i will tell you exactly what to look for and what to look at when you're buying one of those first of all take a look at the power of second of all take a look at the temperature range that you get with that third make sure that it has that cooling system like all the Zhiyun lamps have does not overheat with time and that is a common problem with those continuous lights. Another thing is make sure that the battery is very strong because you are going to need it for quite some time and when the battery runs out well you're left with no lights. Make sure that it has the attachment to put it either on a tripod or on your camera if you're planning to film with that and size matter the smaller it is the more chances that you are actually going to take it outside with you and go shooting and when i think that i have to carry another light with me another piece of equipment i try to limit it down and i end up not taking the lights with me but with those they are so small that it's easy for me to just pack it in my backpack and take it out whenever I feel, oh, there should, there's a chance of creating a more interesting lighting in this scene. So make sure to check down in the comments, there are links for you to get those lights a little cheaper with a discount code from me. And also if you have any questions regarding the use of those lights, make sure to leave a comment or send me a message. I will be happy to help you around. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.